Hey everybody, this is going to be a pretty quick video about Pinky. We all hate our Pinky. Um, doesn't work great. Never works like the rest of your fingers. Nothing ever works like your middle finger. Um, <laughs> yeah, nothing ever works as great as your middle finger does on the fretboard. Wish it was like a hand of middle fingers, you know. Um, but then there'd be a lot of angry people when I drove past them. So uh, here's some pinky exercises. I like to uh, make sure I do a lot of uh, hammer-ons and pull-offs. Just sit there and you can go. Man, that hurts. Like, you're never going to do any of that, but um, it's an exercise that will build you up towards being good with your pinky. Another exercise I like to do is you're going to skip, uh, go back and forth between these two fingers, your pinky and your ring finger, and you're going to start on start on one of them and on the next string go to the fret right under that finger. So. It's a pretty hard little exercise or you can walk yourself down. There. And then the next step would be uh, trying to play bends with your pinky. Oh man, that's cool. Ooh, man, that hurts. Well, more than more than other fingers do. I mean, these these other fingers have rock calluses on them, so all I do is bend my hand. Like, I can't do that. Yeah, it doesn't happen. Another thing I like to do is pentatonic. Wild little lick. It just goes 17, 12 on the top E string, and then that's with your these two fingers. And then with these two fingers, you're going to go 15, 12, and you're going 17, 12, 15, 12, and then going back and using just these two fingers and doing 15, 12, 15, 12. So you're Diminished, uh, diminished runs. Yeah. And then uh, my favorite exercise probably is sitting there and doing a single-handed arpeggio of diminished. Helps in that is, uh, as I said in my arpeggio video, go. Just hold on with that pinky for dear life. See, some people can't do that, so you just want to be able to grab on with that little pinky. Or, um, you, you do your arpeggios right there. flying out there and smacking that, but it's getting it, because I practice that a lot. Um, practicing things with your pinkies is important. Uh, another little look, look I like to do is uh, that involves the transition to a long pentatonic. We're going to go on the G string, we go 12, 14, 15, next string 12. And you're going to play it with just these three fingers. Shock. <laughs> play it. Final exercise of this video is going to be a piece from War Men. Actually, I'll do two of them. Um, these are two songs I recently learned. I really like them a lot. They're, uh, they're brain teasers, too. So we're going to start on top string, and we're going to go, we're just going to follow these, these notes. It's going to be like 13, 12, 10, and the next string, 13, 12, 10, and 13, 12. And the pattern, if you can follow me, starts on 10 on the top string. Go. And as I was saying, it's easier to play it with these three fingers. Well, sloppy, but uh, got most of the notes. I usually play it, play it right. 
And then the other one is another Warman song. Uh, I'm going to tell you just to look the tab up for this one. But it's uh, the first one was, I believe it's Unknown Soldier. And the next one is War Cry of Salieri, I believe. And it goes, Really, really intense song, especially for um, for uh, string skipping too, or uh, outside picking. Uh, I apologize, I'm a little sloppy at it. Uh, like I said, I recently learned these, but they are great exercises. Uh, if it's tough for me, it's going to be tough for a lot of you because uh, I need to be watching the video to get help. So if the instructor's having trouble and the students definitely gonna have trouble, it's good for learning. Uh, hope this helps a lot of your pinkies out.